What the? Uh, it's gonna be like April this... Fool's after. Is this Enderman uh, in the boat? Not... Wait, wait, what? He's in the boat. Oh, this is a screenshot right yeah, now. That... <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. I'm did good, you fly? Good. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I did. Are this is going? my way back. This is my way oh, back. Oh, yeah, you've already, you've already showed me this. Oh, oh, it's faster though. Yeah, just, you, you, you said the exact same thing last time. Yeah, yeah, you said be careful. Woo! Lay the Oh, oh. No. <laughs> Can you go back? Oh my f If I just lost all my shit, I'm gonna cry. Alright, so it's now tomorrow, and um, we're actually deciding to work on the main build of this episode, which is gonna be a giant crane. Uh, we've just finished digging out the hole that it's gonna be, like, kind of pulling items out of, and the crane's gonna be situated right here. I've made, like, a giant, like, plan and everything of all the items we need, the layout and everything like that. We've actually just gone and gotten all of the items that we need for everything. We got a bunch of scaffolding, finally, so it's gonna be a lot easier to build this, thankfully. Um, and yes, yeah, so of course, we got extra here as well, helping us with it. It was mainly his idea and we built it together in creative and now we're just building it in here all right so i reckon we should start out with the floor the, so that way we can like kind of break? yeah yeah so that way we can kind of go off that i think it'll be easier so how far away you want it one block away from the hole yeah yeah one block so like right there so th these are the where the pillars will start okay okay and then yeah so we can just fill all this in with stone bricks okay and then so the next pillar starts like this so these go by 12 high right 12 high yep so the entire height is yeah 12. Do you want to see this pro building strategy right here i'm watching i'm watching oh Absolute you know, legend. You know, dead game, no, dude. <laughs> All right, so the first floor starts at five, That's so it's thick. five blocks in total. Oh, five? So the it starts on the sixth block. It's like here. Oh, oh my God! It fell in the hole. Oh, I forgot we had scaffolding. Oh yeah, you're right. I like explained that we had scaffolding in the intro, and I just forgot. About it. <laughs> okay, buddy, it's not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, Dude, what's bro. going on with your scaffolding here? Like, what? What happened? All this like stuff around the side of it. <laughs> it's because like the way you place it, it's weird. You know what else is weird? Your head. Your beard. Okay. My my beard is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty weird. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> look, look. <laughs> Kill myself. Oh, <laughs> you like what lagged as you're just about to hit the bottom. <laughs> it's floating. Oh what's going on here? At least this build isn't that like complicated, so yeah, it's just like a fairly giant detail. Like it's just, it's just the details that are a pain. You can just do this, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter. We don't have to follow it exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that actually. Do it. <laughs> yeah, don't remove it then. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm adding like the the stone brick. <laughs> it's it already shaping up so quickly. We're out here pro gaming. Oh gaming. my god, I just fell in the hole again. Okay, so for the arches, we did like... We did... Oh my god. Dude, I'm gonna have a counter for how many times I've fell down this hole. Why is there like two f***ing like scaffolding towers? Because you kept falling off, so I put another one. Ooh, smart guy. 2,000 trillion IQ right here. Yep, I'm basically Albertus Einsteinius. <laughs> so it's like Albert Einstein, but on the next level. Oh, okay, okay, I see you, I yeah, see you. Yeah, you know, it's like... <laughs> All right, so that's the bottom half detailing done. Oh, we need to sleep again. I'm not coming down. I'm Come not down. coming Come down. Mom. Fly, fly like fly. above the bed and drop and like bounce off the bed. I got you. <laughs> oh, you got... <laughs> <laughs> I died on my roof, dude. What the f Dude, how do you get up there? <laughs> it's so hard, dude. Fuck. My dog just like coughed up a lung. What did you say? <laughs> Can you taste it? You taste it? It's like dog meat. It's good. It's good. What type of dog do you have? He's an English staffy, and we have a Cooley oh, Cross too, Husky. Oh, that's like the the new one you got too recently. Yeah. Do I still have like one donut left? This is busting. Dude, do you guys have like Krispy so Kremes cool. in America? Yeah, but that's nasty. What, dude? This so good. We get Dunkin' Donuts around here, or something. Yeah, but what are you dunking them in? I'm sorry, I already made that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start What's on the this staircase, anyway? okay? Make it look nice, though. Make it look nice, yeah, gamer. Of course. That's what we're all about here, okay? Yes, sir. 
Alright, so stairs are done. Pretty cool. They're not as like long as I thought they'd be. I thought it'd be like kind of U-shaped, but it doesn't. It only has to be L-shaped, which is fine. Yeah, that's, that's still good. That's still good. And we have more room now to put like random crap up here, like barrels and stuff. Dude, this is gonna look good. I know. I can't wait. Game up. I just. I wish I had a use though. Like, I mean, it kind of does being like a mine that you're actually gonna use. Yeah. But, but we're not gonna use it like 24/7. But yeah. it'll, it'll still be good to have it here. Yeah. Well, yeah. Next, I want to make something that actually has like a use okay the roof stuff. is done so now we just gotta like connect the cross beams oh my god oh my <laughs> we both fell at the same time what the f <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i <laughs> fell too <laughs> yeah. oh, Jesus. okay this is coming together dude we just gotta do like the detailing on the upper level yeah yeah that looks good all right see what we've done so far Damn, that's so good, dude. You have more we doors? built this so it's quickly. Fun. I know, dude. We felt fast. Holy <laughs> shit. Same with the storage thing. Like, we we made that, like, quick smart. Wait, I want to fucking... try something. Roof this up. I want to do it. Yeah, you should do it. Oh, you missed it. Um, yeah, I still miss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad. What the <laughs> <laughs> I sleep. All right, so unfortunately my computer blue screened and stuffed up all of the footage of us building this But right now, um, we're just building like a cow and sheep pen right next to the storage building So we're doing it in like a similar kind of style to this building But um, we're just making it a little bit shorter a little bit lower as well different kind of roof design It's a little bit uh, more mellow and this is what we've got done in the interior so far I just got up to the the floor on this side before my computer blue screened unfortunately which it really sucks i don't know why it keeps doing it it's been doing it a lot frequently it's not overheating or anything but yeah this is all we've done so far so we've almost done like the interior um we've got like some chests and storage here come up here we're gonna have maybe some more storage maybe a little farm as well for like wheat for actually breeding these guys um and extra has done quite a bit of the roof so far um and we're gonna have yeah obviously this back one up here a lot taller as well yeah so this is the wall design as well so it's kind of like barn looking so you can you can kind of look in and see the cows and stuff which looks really cool in my opinion and then we got this central point here with storage crafting etc uh so yeah we're pretty much just going to continue on with um where we were up to which was this floor and then we're probably going to do some stuff upstairs hey gamer hey all right let's finish off with this floor getting all of this p-o-d-z-o-l i need to get more huh god damn it mm. Is that good water? Dude, how much you drinking? Uh, Jesus Christ. <coughs> you can hear it. <laughs> yeah. It's just pretty good. You can hear the water <laughs> traveling down your gullet. Huh? Yeah, I hate like you talk like with big words. And I'm like, I'm only 16, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, 16, you should know bro. the English lexicon by now. Like, bro, you sticky and big gardener, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm only 16, bro. Can, like... <laughs> Sorry, you're 16. You're not a toddler. You should know, like, what big words are. Still, bro, what the f <laughs> I think with this pathway, transition it to stone bricks all the way to here. I'm watching. I'm watching. I think that looks Oh, yeah. Cool. You, have, like, you can have pots and course dirt along these paths, too. Or just course dirt, course dirt. The stone bricks kind of, like, going in, you see? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, like, kind of, like, randomized, like kind of merging in. Yeah, yeah, then you have the cost. This will be stone bricks. The rest. Yep, 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 I gotcha. All right, that's looking pretty cool. Oh, I actually really like that, that effect. That's nice. Is it really? Hold on, I gotta check it out. Oh, it is nice, it is nice, okay. Do you want like a little uh, patch of water in here? So it's kind of like a little drinking spot for them. Like maybe back you here or something? You could do like that, maybe it's filled with water. Or just have one on the back, just back here. Just like back here, like that. Yeah, because I think if we have too many in here, it'll look weird. Like there'll be like walking in it. Yeah, so just do this back one. Oh, I think this will look better actually with stairs like that. And we can waterlog it. It's just like a little like water trough looking thing. Come sleep. What the hell? Hello? I f***ing got water on my chair because of you now. <laughs> he's like, he's like, whoa, what the f***? Hello? <laughs> he's like, oh, what the f***? Hello? Yeah, so I like woke up in your head. I hit my tube on my f***ing bottle. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying, dude. He's lagging, bro. What, what the, the hell? <laughs> 
Oh, the server probably crashed, didn't it? <laughs> what was that? All right. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's too funny. This top wire is actually hitting different though, it's pretty good. But what do you mean by like hitting different? Like, can't it hit? What's hitting regularly, you know? Just like, shut what, up. What hits just regularly up. compared to just different? Sh shut up. I just wanna know. That like, it, it's good, you know what I'm saying? It's busting. Yeah, but like, how is it? <laughs> how is it different though? I'm done talking to you. Alright, I'm gonna start moving my cows over here, just cause why not, you know? Come <laughs> sleep. It's not time yet, bro. What the f is wrong it is. I'm sleeping right now. You're f***ing capping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start moving these cows over into on this new building. And around. Hey! All right, come on, my brothers. The one. Two cats that have been in here, they're finally free. They've been in there for a very long time, okay? We're moving all of our screen. friends. What? We've got a lot of friends with us here, okay? <laughs> Whoa, what the f***? Many, Move dude. out of the way. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go, 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 go faster. Go faster. No, what the hell? Come on, brethren. Why are they attracted to you, bro? Like, come on. Okay, okay, there we go. Yes. Close that. Yes, perfect. Cows successfully brought in. And now we just need to find sheep to put in this side. The closest ones that I know are at my village, but that's going to be quite a trek to get all the way over there. So hopefully we can find some just like kind of hanging around this area, hopefully. <laughs> what the f is this? Josh, what the f why is it three between? Huh? It's supposed to be two. It's supposed to okay. be two between. I was just doing it in line with like the, 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 the. Look, okay, well, look, you fix look. it. You fix it, yeah. Roof King. Roof yeah, King, right Roof here. God, Roof yeah. God. It's not even. That's kind of grotty. All right, so here is the completed cow barn, all done. Also, we got this crane completely finished. Here's what it looks like with the actual um, crane attachment on it as well. So the interior is looking like this. We got a bunch of cows in here. We actually just slaughtered some before, which is kind of sad, but I mean, it has to be done. Uh, we managed to find some sheep as well, which is really good. Interior is looking pretty cool. We got a bit of storage. Uh, I don't think we actually, yeah, we didn't do anything up here yet, but we will probably get some farms in here and some extra storage as well. So now I'm actually gonna cut to some footage from earlier today where I um, where I got paid to do the interior for extras base so here that is right now uh, we're just gonna be doing the first floor interior for now as you can see a lot has actually changed recently um, we've expanded the farm out this way extras created like a little farmhouse as well which is pretty nice and also if we get an aerial view up here you can see he's gonna be building a village in this big open space yeah after we complete my village all the way over there we're gonna be working on another big project this episode and then later on down the track we're going to create another village here as well which kind of defeats the purpose of my village but oh well so let's start on extras interior here so he's actually paying me with uh well what i requested was just a stack of fireworks and 16 gold carrots so yeah this is what we got to work with so far it's a little bit bare and empty but he does have the essentials so i think i'm gonna work on a staircase that goes to the top floor and then to the downstairs as well you can see the downstairs here he has uh, an automatic sugarcane farm that i actually made for him which was a lot of fun to set up so i'm thinking i might put the stairs in this section here so that it can go all the way up to the top and all the way down to the bottom and be like out of the way just in this section here where he's got the furnaces so yeah let's get started now i'm not entirely sure how i'm gonna lay it out but uh we'll figure it out as we go so i've got my box of uh building materials here that i'm gonna be using so i don't think i actually want to change the way that this looks this storage room because it, it actually looks really cool i like it it's it's pretty unique but the only annoying thing is that this pole is in the way and it's just it's annoying to try and like get around here and and stuff so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this pole i might remove it entirely probably same for this one as well with the stairs i'm not sure how i want the stairs to go i'm thinking of having the downstairs start here and then it kind of bends into an l down this way and then goes down to the bottom floor there and then i'll have the the stairs to the top start on this side and go up the same kind of thing so let's start by removing these pillars now obviously a storage area isn't very space efficient but it does look really nice so I'm thinking I want to expand the amount of chests that are here. I might add some more double chests in, maybe along the top. And I might actually extend the storage all the way out to this side, maybe. We're going to leave the enchanting area probably here. Because I think that's where I'd kind of put it anyway. If not upstairs. But I think he wants it downstairs. Um, and we'll find a place for all the furnaces and like the crafting blocks and stuff. So yeah, i just got to figure out how I want to keep this kind of the same style. But just more efficient on chests. Alright, so I think... I've figured out a kind of layout that I want. 
Uh, so I'm actually going to, oh, I did not mean to do that. So I think I'm going to put some more barrels in these corners here, just for a, a little bit extra space in here. And I think I might move everything from these two barrels down to this barrel so that I can make another double chest here, just so that there's just a little bit more space efficient, but still looks nice. All right, so there's those changes there. So it's a similar, it's a pretty similar theme. It's just more space efficient. I like this single chest up here. So I think I'm gonna leave it there. I think we're going to take out these two lanterns here and actually put like a trim along the roof. So we might do something like this. So we'll put stairs all along here so that everything can still be opened. And then I think something like this will look pretty cool. Okay, and that's looking really cool. Um, so let's extend it out this way probably to here, I think. I'm not sure where I wanna put the bedroom, but we do have a lot of space to work with. I'm not sure how I'm gonna fill up all of this space. Probably just gonna have to put a bunch of decorations around, but yeah, let's extend this all the way out to here and see how it looks. Yeah, so it kind of sucks we can't have it line up nicely like this, just cause of the way that the corner has been done. Okay, so on second thought, I don't think I'm really happy with this layout. It just looks kind of flat. So I'm thinking I'm going to bring out these pillars to where this this stuff is right now and kind of tuck everything in. So that needs means I need to get some oak wood. So I'm kind of hoping he just has some in his chest somewhere that I can use instead of having to go and find some. Uh, even a sapling I'd be fine with, but I can't find any. I'm sure I've probably missed one by now. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go and find some oak wood, unfortunately. Okay, so it looks like I've actually stumbled upon Build Therapy's um, village, which actually is looking really cool. I've been watching a couple of his videos recently and, and seen him making this wall, which is really nice. It's definitely unique and different how it's um, using nether blocks, which is pretty cool. It gives me vibes of like an evil kind of village. Which I don't know if that's what he's going for, but either way, it looks really cool. And I actually found uh, an oak tree here. So I'm gonna chop this down, grab the saplings, bring it back home. All right, so we've got a little bit of oak logs now. Uh, hopefully it's enough, it probably won't be. But my plan is to put in these pillars here, kind of separate the storage areas. Um, so you can kind of have sections for sorting them out as well. All right, so I've decided to use this design that I've come up with. Um, so originally I was having a lot of single chests because I couldn't put any double chests up here just because I didn't want the supports to be covering the window. But I actually figured out this way with a trapdoor here. So I've actually put trapdoors on these places as well. And that way we can get two double chests, two barrels and one single chest as well. So I'm actually gonna be doing the roof like this across the entire area. And that way it's kind of symmetrical, but it kind of isn't. And it, it, it just, yeah, it looks really cool. Kind of fits with his theme as well. All right, so there's the finished chest wall. Uh, I feel like these might need some kind of separating like this. I think that actually looks better as well now. But yeah, so that'll be his storage area. Now let's start probably on the on the stairs actually, because I think I know how I want this to look. So let's remove all these furnaces and stuff and actually go put this out in this chest that I have for his stuff. Okay, so let's start on the downstairs area actually. I think I might do it three wide instead of one wide, just because I think one wide will look a bit weird. Well, I think to make this easier i think i might actually make it too wide and that way we get more space as well and even though it is two it's it's still kind of even so we'll have this like kind of separation around the the pole here okay and that way the staircase is like that and i that's pretty much exactly how i envisioned it actually so okay so i actually just realized that with the shape of his house he's got the the shorter bit at the front which is where i wanted to put the stairs uh, which kind of sucks because this the second story is up there like in the back half of the house which is actually pretty unfortunate so that means that I'll have to put the upward staircase probably somewhere else. Okay, so I actually have an idea now for the staircase and the bedroom. So I'm thinking I might do some kind of like a big double-sided staircase to go up to the top. And I'll probably put the bed kind of in the middle of it. So let's, let's start laying it out now. All right, so that's the staircase design that I'm going with. The problem is, is that it's actually covering up a window here. So I'm gonna have to remove those. Okay, so that actually gives us some room under here to put the bed and some other things too. All right, so I'm thinking I wanna actually put some, like maybe some, just some personal storage in here. So we'll make that a barrel and a chest. And we might actually do a double chest on this side, just in case if we want more storage in one chest. Um, and I've actually made some armor stands that I wanna put here. And that way he can put his old armor on here as well. Even if he gets like full chain or something and put that on one of them which will look awesome 
All right, so we've placed in the carpets now. It's looking pretty nice. Um, also placed the lantern up here just to light up this little area. So now we've got to start on the furnace room and the enchanting. And I've actually figured out how I want to lay it out. So I don't really like how the enchanting is kind of just getting cut off here by the stairs. So I'm going to actually move it out over to here. Probably put the enchanting table maybe here or here actually and then we're going to put furnaces in this corner uh, it's a bit annoying because the only tool that i have silk touch on is my shovel so i have to break all these with my shovel so we're actually going to be putting the enchanting table right here and we're going to put some bookshelves along this wall just like this and then to get this to level 30 i'm going to kind of place these just randomly around so i want some to be elevated like this because i know he likes this kind of design where the um the bookshelves are kind of separated around i don't know if i really like that but yeah, no, that, that looks kind of weird. Okay, so I actually do have two bookshelves to spare. So that means I can put some floating like up here. And I kind of want to space these apart as well. So I know he likes this design where the looms are kind of on the side. And it looks like an empty bookshelf. So I'm going to place some of these around as well. And we might actually get some in this wall too. All right, and to finish this off, I think I'm going to put a nice pot here with a spruce sapling in it. That's a nice little hidden enchanting area. So we can, we can put something cool on this side too. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe just some extra storage for stuff that he doesn't need that often uh, but yeah so let's actually put the furnaces all in this spot all right so i think i've figured out a layout that i want for the furnaces so i like to keep them uh, like the blast furnaces and everything in their own kind of sections i think it looks pretty cool it looks a little bit cramped and weird how the windows are like this but i still do like the design so let's actually put in some stairs and some extra decorations around i also put this along the roof which looks pretty cool and yeah, it's just like a nice little smelting corner. I want to finish this off with uh, a kind of a crafting station. I think I'm going to put maybe an anvil here, crafting bench maybe here, maybe even get rid of these barrels or some extra chests and just put some of the crafting blocks kind of strewn about. Okay, so there's the layout I decided to go with. So we got the loom and the smithing table in these corners and actually put the grindstone here. And I kind of like how... It, it makes this chest like a hidden kind of chest, but it's not too hidden, so it's kind of pointless. But uh, I just like the way that it looks, and I couldn't really find a good spot for this to go. So, so yeah, next thing is try and figure out what to put in this big empty space as well, and probably do some kind of floor design. Uh, so the idea I've got for the floor is to kind of make like a pathway in logs to each different section. Yeah, I do this in a lot of my bases as well, just having like a, a pathway outlined in a similar block. It's just an easy way to get like a floor design in for your base if you can't like figure out some kind of pattern or anything that you want. What the hell? Oh my god, this little bastard just came out of nowhere. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with this floor design. It's it's a bit simple, but it's it's easy to do. And so next, let's chuck in some lights. Just put a bunch of lanterns around using the floor as a guide. And then lastly, I think I'm going to make a bunch of chests in here just for some extra storage. All right, and there we go. So there's the finished little extra storage section. And yeah, with that, I'm pretty happy with this interior. It's lacking a little bit of extra decoration and stuff. We might even come back and touch it up in the future. All right, so extra has just joined and um, we're going to get his reaction on the new interior. I think he is just down here. All right. So as you can see, staircase right here. It's not like done. You okay. just wanted me to do the upstairs. So that's all I did for now. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So, so come on up and tell me what you think. Dang. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 Bye. <laughs> bye. Right, with all that done, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we did get a lot done. We um, managed to do Extra's entire interior. We got this giant cow barn done, which is really cool. And we also finished this big crane. We were talking to Connor earlier today, and he said it would look cool if we actually extended this upwards. So we might do that later on as well. We actually did some more of Extra's village back here as well. He created this gate, and we extended the pathway all the way down here too, which is looking really nice. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this episode, let me know what you think in the comments. And subscribe if you enjoyed the video as well and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.